Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us on the Thyroid Refresh page uh, for our first, well, I guess it's not the new year yet, but it will be soon for another Facebook Live. Thanks for being here, guys, for another episode of Get Real with Dana and Jenny, just real talk with real thyroid patients who are on the healing path. And today we're going to be talking about uh, some resolution alternatives that are really cool and also just the power of habits to change our lives and up-level our health. But um, first, we want to make a special announcement, you guys. We are going to be opening up Thyroid 30 once again for enrollment. That's going to start in just a few days. So December 31st, the doors officially open for enrollment. Woohoo! Yeah, we're really excited for this winter wellness adventure. And um, that enrollment is open uh, through January 13th. So make sure if you are interested in that, that you, you know, join our mailing list, get uh, so that you get um, updates and other inspiration in your inbox from us about, you know, when that uh, enrollment is open. And we'll yeah. also be sending out a um, special discount, early bird discount code this year. So yeah, that's what I was going to say. We have a, an early bird enrollment window. So if you're listening, go check us out right now and you'll get on the list and you'll get the early bird discount. Yeah, I think you can just click sign up on our Facebook page yep. and go to uh, join our mailing list that way. So we would love to have you guys along. The last one was incredible. We got some really amazing feedback and it was just so incredibly um Satisfying, wasn't it, Dana, to see people was, in there? It was so amazing. Together, doing this together, making, you know, little changes that had huge impacts for people, right? And that's what we wanted. That's why we created it was to, well, to make it fun, but also to um, to kind of do things so we could so make it so we could do it together. Uh, and it was just great. I mean, we had teams and everybody was supporting each other and making comments and it was just really great. And we got and the feedback was better than Jenny and I expected. So it was really, really fun and really, really satisfying and kind of empowering. You know, um, all these women, well, maybe there was a few men uh, on the journey together and celebrating each other's wins and relishing the small victories and the small steps because habits and small changes really, really do help. That's right. Well, and we're coming up on such an amazing time of year to like make some some changes in our lives, right? I mean, a new mm -hmm. year, a new beginning. It's like every day is a new beginning, but a new year just has a feeling of being even bigger and more significant. And I think that's why so many of us are drawn to make resolutions. Yeah, you know, and for me, I try not to put too much into it because I don't want... Um, you know, I want it to be something special, but I don't want to make too much out of it. But I'm really looking forward to some new numbers. There is a symbolism in it for me. You know, there's it's like kind of just a fresh start. You know, one number changes to zero one nine. But for me, it's kind of big. And um, I'm really looking forward to the new numbers. I really, really am. I think it makes a big difference, even though I try not to put too much into it. You know, there's a fine balance. You know, I want to. I want to I want to make some changes and things, but I also don't want to. I don't know if I don't succeed, I don't want to make so much of a big thing about it because every day is a new day. So I wake up the new the new next day and keep trying and keep chugging along. And, you know, so um, anyway, well, you know, we'd love to hear what you guys are hoping for right. in 2019. So leave us a comment below and let us know, you know, what are you wanting to manifest and incorporate into your life? What are your wishes, dreams, wants, desires, and hopes for the new year? Um, you know, one thing that I wanted to share with people today was this concept that we are in love with called the Sankalpa. You know, when mm -hmm. it comes down to it, we're not really huge on resolutions because no. most of us fail at them. We set ourselves these really big lofty goals Right. You can't possibly stick with. I'm going to go to the gym seven days a week. I'm going to lose 30 pounds by March 1st. I mean, I think we would all love for those things to happen. And it's good to want those things, right? We want 
Yeah. Better health. We want more abundance. What, you know, whatever it is, wanting something is the first step in obtaining it. But we're really big on taking those small, sustainable steps and making lasting life change. You know, it's the it's the long road, right? Versus the quick fix. And and the best part of the Sun Kelpa for me is making it so present. That's one of the things I love about Thyroid 30 is that you're very intentional every single day. And the San Kalpa is like a, is a present thing as opposed to what you're going to do or what you wish would happen. It's like you wake up every day and you think I'm going to be healthy today, not I hope I lose 900 pounds this year. So I really love the fact that it keeps you kind of centered and balanced. Don't well, you? A great time of year to um, to set a San Kalpa and let's let people know what it is. OK, because yeah. I don't think it's something that I know I had never really heard of it until we interviewed um, Leah Carver, who's the author of Undoing Hashimoto's. And she also she owned her own yoga studio and she's a Hashimoto's patient. And so Sankalpa is a Sanskrit word that's part of her yoga mm -hmm. practice. Right. And mm -hmm. what it is, is it's the heartfelt desire that comes from within. And in this case, you know, for, for the people here and listening, it, it can be something that aligns with your goals towards health and wellness. So the difference between like a resolution or even an intention and, and a Sankalpa is it's like, what is the, when you spend some time in a quiet, dark place, meditation or, you know, whatever works for you to really tune in to your center what is that single most heartfelt desire? And then what you do instead of saying, I want this, you know, I want more energy. You say, you put it in the present tense. That's kind of what Dan was talking about. It's, mm -hmm. you don't use past tense, like, or, or future tense. I'm going to, you say, I am, I, I am creating more energy. I am um, well, the one that I'm using is this year is I am taking better care of myself, not I'm going to, but I am right now because that's what it's about, right? Yeah. And let's say you have a, a bum day, you know, I'm taking better care of myself and something happens and it just doesn't work out. You wake up the next day and you say, I am taking better care of myself in the present so it's not this lofty future thing. It's like you can start over every day. And that's really what it's about because we're not living in the future and we're not living in the past. It's today. It's all about being present and the balance of life in that. So that's one reason why I really like it. And I love um, Leah for sharing that with us because it's so powerful. Yeah. It's like when people talk about manifesting things or like affirmations, that's what this is. It's the power of the mind, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the ways that you can incorporate a Sankalpa is by using something called habit stacking. You know, we're big on like, what are our daily habits, right? This is, this is what thyroid 30 is all about. This is what a uh, thyroid healthy lifestyle is all about. It's going, you know, micro and looking at all of those daily choices from the moment you pick up your toothbrush to, you know, the point where you get in bed at night, what kind of habits are you creating in your life? And one of the ways that um, Leah has recommended, you know, like really integrating your Sankalpa into your life is by using habit stacking. So for her, when she gets up in the morning and brushes her teeth, she always, you know, sort of repeats that Sankalpa like a mantra. So for me, it would be, you know, I'm brushing my teeth and I'd say to myself, I am taking better care of myself. And also when you do that, you're also remembering why, right? Why am I taking better care of myself right. you know, so that I can have more energy so that I can do the things I want to do, you know, in my life, with my family, with my friends, personally, you know, all those things come from that big why reason and also, you know, just manifesting that. And she even uses, um, has recommended, I've used this, I love this, where you pick like a, a, an essential oil blend and, you know, maybe put just a drop on your hands and take a few deep breaths. So you get, you trigger that scent 
memory and association in your brain so that mm. when you smell that smell and you're saying your sankalpa to yourself, you're really manifesting. And like, it's like this whole huge, you know, incorporation on multi multiple levels, right? Yeah, definitely. I want to take a pause here for just a moment because it looks like we're having some internet issues. And for a moment there, your voice was like, you know, 10 minutes ahead of your, <laughs> not really, but I just want to take a pause. Let's just take a pause because that's not, it's not a bad thing to do. Breathe for just a minute. I don't know if you can tell Jenny, can you see that it's blurry? And I hope that everybody out there watching, um, I hope it's perfect for you guys, but I just wanted to take a quick breath, a quick moment, see if maybe it would kind of resolve, which it kind of has a little bit. So maybe talking a little slower, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but this is live. So what can you do? Yep. Right? Technology is great when it works, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, well, one thing that people can do if they want to know more about um, setting uh, a sankalpa, setting that heartfelt desire for the year ahead is go to our thyroid refresh YouTube page. YouTube. And you can um, find that there. It's how to find your sankalpa, I think is the title of it with Leah Carver. It's a like a three minute video, you guys. And we've got so many of those on our YouTube page. So make sure you click subscribe when you're there because you know, we just try to share all kinds of helpful, real how world, to. real people, you know, how to videos. Um, to There's help a great hair them. one. There's a great hair one on there from yeah, hair from loss. Mm -hmm. yeah for hair loss. Um, that's got some really spectacular tips from our managing editor, um, Devania. So there's some really cool, quick how to's um, that are very, very helpful. We hope we put them together for you guys. Real world for people with thyroid specifically, but just helpful all, all around. So got to check it out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, Dana, these are the things that we do every day, right? Like mm -hmm. the kind of toothpaste you use, what water are you drinking? How are you moving your body every day? Are you putting any energy into like your mobility? Are you stretching a little bit at some point each day? What do you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Um, what time do you go to bed? You know, all those little choices can make such huge differences for us. And that's really what Thyroid 30 is about, is taking all those choices and putting them into a game where people can score themselves. They get the accountability and motivation from that, from, you know, team-based rewards and community and you know what it we've we've tested it many times we had our our first official uh thyroid inaugural venture mm -hmm. last fall and it works it works it does and it's fun and that's really my favorite part and i say it all the time but it's really my favorite part of the game is it's fun it stops it keeps you in the present which i really like because life just kind of whizzes by right so everybody kind of needs to stop and pay attention stop and smell the roses so to speak but, um, you know, it keeps you it keeps you present, but it's fun. It's fun. You have fun while you're doing it. And there's a lot about thyroid disease that is not fun. You know, the elimination diet and all these things, you know, that you have to do, need to do to support your thyroid and your overall health. And um, it can feel overwhelming. And so we tried to take the aspects that you really need as a thyroid patient and made them very simple and made it fun. And yeah. I love it. It's fun. Simple, attainable and fun, you mm -hmm. know, because the thyroid living a thyroid friendly lifestyle isn't always easy. And it takes a little bit of extra support. And you know, the thing that I really appreciate about thyroid 30 is that we also have thyroid refresh to go with it. Because here's, here's the problem mm -hmm. with challenges. Most people don't know when the challenge ends what to do next like how do you maintain that progress that you've made so we created thyroid 30 this app it's a game it's a wellness adventure um so that people can make progress towards a thyroid friendly lifestyle and that happens four times a year 
And if you're just tuning in, it's just about to open for enrollment on December 31st. So check it out at thyroidrefresh.com slash thyroid30. Um, but so when the 30 days is done, there's this big question, well, now what? Well, that's where Thyroid Refresh membership comes in and helps people go into maintenance mode. I'm putting it on the screen here, sorry. Oh, good, okay. Are you, are we, uh, how are we doing technically? Everything looks good on my end, but I can't. Yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty jumpy, but um, it's, it's okay. okay. It's live, what can we do? Well, yeah, what can you do? Um, there we go, okay. Thyroidrefresh.com slash thyroid30. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, you can uh, click that link in the comments if you want to check it out. But, you know, those two things together, people ask us, well, how do thyroid refresh and thyroid30 work together? And really together, they, they fit together like complementary puzzle pieces, really. Because thyroid refresh, you know, membership, which you can purchase monthly or annually, is that maintenance piece. So we deliver all the information and inspiration you need to kind of stay the course, stay on the path, stay connected to other people who know what it's like. Here's a recipe that you can, you know, try out. Here's another thyroid friendly workout. Um, here's an inspiring podcast with an expert in the world of thyroid health. So it's just staying uh, engaged, right, in your in thyroid healthy living and staying inspired so that you can maintain that progress between each seasonal thyroid 30 wellness adventure. Plus it's just, it's got some fabulous content. It's really got some amazing content. I went back to it this morning cause I was like, Oh, I would like to do um, a, uh, a meditation. We have a fantastic meditation from Nadia on there. And I was like, I'm going to go back to that. And then while I was searching, I was like, Oh, this is really good. Should I do this today? Or, I'm going to do this today. And then I'm going to do this today. I'm going to read this later. And then I was like, okay, now I'm just, this is, there's just so much good stuff here, you know? So um, we curated it to be very uh, easy to read and user friendly and pretty and ad free. And we're really proud of it and you have to check it out. Yeah. I mean, I think the, the information is really, we try to keep it really bite-sized and digestible for people, you know, because there is so much overwhelm and, you know, this is something that you and I need. I mean, I think even for the experts, it's not easy to always stay inspired and on, you know, on the healing path, right? Like mm -hmm. I'm seeing a new naturopath now and she, she, I was, you know, telling her, you know, I'm feeling like my energy is kind of going down. I'm sort of feeling like I'm backsliding a little bit. I'm not really sure why I've been trying some different medications and you know this is like a lifelong process right and she was like I think you have um SBS and I was like what's that yeah right oh never heard of that acronym right yeah she's like you have starting a business syndrome you know? oh that um, one right like life happens it's kind of the irony of you and I you know creating this is I know right you know trying to are. help people but you know also, in the process, like, a lot of our personal resources and energy going into creating something like this. And so we have to take extra good care, you know, and sometimes it isn't possible. So you take a deep breath and the next day you wake up and you say, you know, I'm going to take really good care of myself or I'm going to be really healthy or whatever it is. So um, bringing the Sankalpa back into it, you know, you try to really. Uh, stay present with it because some days are just really hard and really long and you have SBS. You can't help it. <laughs> just right. is, you know? Yeah. And I mean, I've got plenty of goals, you know, we're going to, I'm going to be doing a, a big uh, kind of like some, an elimination diet. I'm not sure if it's going to be AIP. It'll probably something a little bit more bio individual. I did um, hair tissue mineral analysis with our team, uh, holistic nutritionists, Adrian Klein. And so might be incorporating that, but going to be trying some new things and, you know, Hey, I need to stay inspired too. I need you guys. Like, you know, we all need each other. Right. But Dana, I'm curious, what are your, what's your Sankalpa or your intentions for 2019? 
Well, um, I'm still kind of working on it, but um, last year I I tried to to choose a word that I want to send I wanted to center around, and it was abundant. So you know when I was using my sankalpas, I want to have abundance of health today, or I want to have abundance of this or whatever. But um, it ended up not being such a great year for me, and my father passed, and so I feel like abundance for me was too big a word. It was too broad. So I'm trying to kind of um, dial it down right now. Grateful is a word I, it's, it's, it keeps coming back to me. So somehow I'm going to work around that, I think. But I'm still working on it. I got a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah, we're working. What about on, you? Um, well, just, you know, taking better. I'm, I'm taking better care of myself. Yeah. I'm trying to make more time for that and and reconnect with that as a bigger priority that's been, you know, kind of uh, overshadowed by some other goals in my life. So, you know, bringing that back to the forefront so that I, because you can't do one without the other, right? I mean, right. it, it all, it's the oxygen mask metaphor that yeah. I'm sure we're also tired. We all of. love, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? you know, but it's so true. Yeah, it is so true. And um, and sometimes you get, um, I don't know, kind of whisked away in it, especially over the holidays. I know I did, you know, the whole uh, oxygen mask, you know, it was like, I, I really, I can't, I, I just, today's not a day I can do it. And then the next day wasn't a day I could do it. And the next day wasn't a day I could do it. But at least I was thinking about it. And there's definite points in that, you know, I mean, really, because it did keep me present. And um, it's something that you have to work on. And, and it's just life. So you just have to find the balance. So over the holidays, and SBS, and uh, moving and, you know, all that stuff, you know, you really just have to kind of keep coming back to um, trying starting over every day is a new day. That's right. Yeah. Well, we hope that all of you guys um, have some, some you know, really are manifesting some positive attention intentions for the year ahead. We'd love to hear about it. Drop us a comment and let us know what's your word for the year. Yeah. Um, we were just working on, on this, uh, something fun on social media that we're working on, but like putting together a bunch of words, right. For, for 2019, like, um, like abundance, like, <laughs> perseverance, maintenance, you know, it doesn't have to be this big, huge thing it can just be like <laughs> persistent, powerful, you know, strength. empowering ourselves, re restoring, rejuvenating, repairing, you know, refueling, reactivating, right? <laughs> reducing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're giggling because these are the the eight daily rituals that we use in thyroid 30 um, and that people score themselves on each day as part of our 30 day wellness adventure. So we call them the eight daily rituals. And it's, we've basically taken the common core tenets of a thyroid friendly lifestyle and we've put them into this game, right? So every day you're thinking and asking yourself, did I remember to take my meds and supplements? Did I do one thing to repair my gut health? Did I do one thing to reduce my toxin exposure? Um, did I do one? Did I spend ten minutes reactivating my body and doing something physical? Uh, did I spend ten minutes on rejuvenating myself, doing self care or some kind of stress management? You know, knitting. I want to do knitting. I want to add that. I'm just, I want to try someone to no, not knitting crocheting. I went to get my hair done and um, my hairdresser was like, you know, I have started to, as part of my self-care um, crochet. And I'm like, Hmm, <laughs> it took me a minute. And then she was like, because you count and it's this repetitive thing. So it's very relaxing. It's very yeah. relaxing. And she said, and then at the end of it, you know, you've got a scarf and she pulled out her scarf and I was like, okay, I'm going to get online and, idea. and learn how to crochet. Right. It, it, I love knitting. It's totally meditative and Zen. I mean, other things come to mind, even, you know, I find a lot of Zen in doing the dishes. It's just this simple task, like, and it's just part of my life. Like, you know, 
part of this whole journey is eating real food, cooking, you know, cooking is kind of a requirement. You can't, good health doesn't come in a box, you know? So unfortunately, yeah, it would be nice if it did. Um, but there's dishes, right? And it's like, I am just here with these dishes right now and like some hot soapy water. And this is, this is evidence that we had good, healthy, homemade food to eat that is nourishing us. You know, I think there's things like that. That's not like a really fun one. I think no. fun, but <laughs> um, adult coloring books are another great way to do that self care. And um, what are some of the other ones that. Well, I mean, for me, I like, I like dancing. So, you know, if you're going to do the dishes, you put on some fun music. If you're going to do the laundry, put on some fun music. So for me, music and dancing or moving is oh. a really good one because I totally connect with that. Yeah. Walking, you know, um, my husband and I walk together. It gives us just kind of a chance to get outside of the home. You know, yeah. um, for me, for me, those are the ones. Yeah. Well, let us know in the comments, guys. What do you want? To, what do you want out of 2019? What are your plans? What if you're if you are if you're into resolutions and that is something big in your life? Tell us what that is. If you are taking a more a more alternative approach and doing something like a sankalpa or setting an intention, what is it? What are your hopes, wishes, wants, desires, and dreams for 2019? Or what is your word? Like I said, I'm working on mine. What is your word? You know, if you have just one word um, as well. So we'd love to, uh, we'd love to hear from you. So, oh, um, just really quick. I want to show this because this is fun. Um, he, he, look at that. Laundry. I love that. <laughs> Vanya, that's a great example. Singing laundry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to wrap my brain around that. Is there any music involved? Or is it just the, you know, repetitive of the, you know, the movement? Yeah, the simplicity, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I love it. Everybody's got their own, right? Um, I wonder what Adrian's uh, is, because I see she's on here with us. So um, anyway, you know, try to make it fun. And again, Thyroid 30, we put the fun back into thyroid healing and um, you'll have to join us. It starts in January and enrollment is December 31st through January 13th. So check it out. Let's see if she, oh, um, <laughs> Devonia put sometimes there is music. Oh, good. Okay. Well, so then I'm with you. I got it, Div. <laughs> Funny. I know. Awesome. Well, we hope whatever you guys celebrate, we hope you had a wonderful holiday and we are wishing you a happy new year. We're going to be back here next Friday for another episode of Get Real with Dana and Ginny. So we would love to have you join us. And also, um, don't forget, Thyroid 30 is coming. It's We're having our next wellness adventure in January. So check it out and join our mailing list. You can uh, click sign up on our Facebook page here or learn more at thyroidrefresh.com slash thyroid30. But thank you guys for being here with us today. And we won't see you till next year. So happy new year and um, best wishes for, uh, for a great Sankalpa or word or whatever it is you decide to choose. Oh, and we'll put the link to that um that Sankalpa you video, do. how to yes. send Sankalpa in the comments. So if you guys yes, are interested in that, you can watch Leah Carver's three minute video. All okay, right. guys. And we also have some guests joining us on some of our um, Get Real with Dana and Jenny. So um, keep an eye out for those because it'll be yeah, really fun. Right? Next Friday, it's going to be Kate J of Healing Family Eats. She Fantastic. is fantastic. Yeah, she's also a, a nutrition coach and an autoimmune protocol expert. And her recipes are incredible. And she's also participated in Thyroid 30 as, you know, as a participant and also as a practitioner, she had her own team. So if there's any practitioners out there listening, this is a tool that is totally customizable for, you know, individuals to create a team experience that experts use so that we can, as a, as a community, so that we can make that positive change together and, and reach our optimal state of health, whatever that looks like. Yep. Okay, guys. Right. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.
See you next week.